Hello and welcome back or welcome to the AGF Design Studio channel. My name is Alana and today we're going to be talking about doing a write-on text effect in Adobe Fresco. Using Adobe Fresco's motion capabilities, you can now create cool animations and cool effects like this one that I've created. Let's jump in. So basically here I'm just starting out with the word magic that I've lettered out using the small chisel brush, which is under the lettering category. You don't have to use the same word that I'm using, you can use whatever word you want. And basically I'm going to start with duplicating the word magic. I do this because when you add motion effects to a layer, those effects can't be undone. So I always like to duplicate whatever layer I'm on that I'm about to apply motion to, just in case I wanna go back and start over. So now with my timeline open at the bottom, as you can see, I am starting to do two things. I am duplicating the layer because I want to preserve a frame that has the full word because that will be my end frame because at the end the whole word will be written out. And then I'm going to add an empty layer because I want the first layer to just be blank. From here, the basic principle is to just delete whatever part of the word hasn't been revealed yet using our effect. And with each frame, we just delete less and less. To get a better idea of how you can visualize your animation, I like to turn on the onion skin setting, which is under your settings. And you can just toggle that on to be able to preview your previous frames. As you can see, there's a darkened portion of my lettering. The darkened portion represents what I've already had on previous frames. And I basically just repeat this process over and over again until I've got the whole word animated. So it might be hard to see as you're doing it, but it's kind of cool once you see the whole thing come together. Obviously I'm doing this kind of roughly to erase things more quickly and in bigger sections, I'm using the freehand selection tool and I'm just hitting erase each time. So I don't have to use the eraser tool and you know, press on the screen back and forth to erase everything. It's way easier and faster when you use the free freeform lasso tool. So that's a tip. Have you animated in Adobe Fresco before? I actually have a video all about motion in Adobe Fresco. There are two different ways to animate, frame and path animation. So I have a full video on that that I'll link in the description box below. Are there any other videos you'd like me to do? Let me know in a comment down below. I love to hear from you guys and I'm always taking suggestions from the community. Would you say that you're a beginner in Adobe Fresco? I also have a video about all about Adobe Fresco for beginners, which I'll also link in the description box below. Um, it's my most popular video, <laughs> so I think people really like it.
if you've ever wanted to animate your lettering, this is a super approachable and easy way to do it, I think. It's really cool to see your work sort of come to life on screen. Once you're done, just hit the play all button to get a sense of what your animation looks like. If for any reason it looks too fast or too slow, you can simply adjust your frames per second rate. The lower your frame number, the slower your animation will play. The higher your frame number, the faster it'll play. I think this is a really accessible way of using this program for a cool kind of effect like this. And then after you're done, you can export it as an MP4 or as a PNG sequence that you can put together later in Adobe Premiere if you like. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.